It's Cupquake. Welcome to another episode of DIY Geeky Goodies where I make all things geeky and creative and show you how to do them. So I've been getting a ton of requests to make an Enderman ornament and you guys also requested him to be holding a Christmas present. So I decided to take on this challenge and make an ornament for you guys. So let's get started. Get your black and white polymer clay out. We're first going to work on the Enderman's head. Form your black clay into a rough square. Then go in with a sharp object and shave off each edge so the edges are more defined. Then we're gonna move to the body. Create a rectangular shape and again go in with a sharp object to make the edges flush. Now that the head and body is complete, we're going to move on to the arms and legs. Roll out a black piece of clay about a quarter of an inch thick and cut it about a quarter of an inch thick. It's always better to cut them longer because you can always cut them shorter. The Enderman's arms and legs are about the same length and are twice as long as the Enderman's body and head. Roughly place them where they belong so you can see how they look. Once you're done cutting out all the pieces, he should look something like this. Then I'm going to get some white clay, roll it out to as thin as I can, and I'm going to cut the eyes. Cut rectangles for the eyes and carefully place them on the Enderman's face. Make sure to push them down firmly so that when they bake they don't fall off afterwards. You're going to need a couple different types of wires. One to go through the whole body of the Enderman and one to connect its limbs. Place the wire through both the Enderman's torso and head so that the wire sticks out of his head. It should look something like this. Then place a wire through his torso where his shoulders should be. To save money in wire, you can cut a wire in half and after it's baked, you can wrap the wire so it has a circle at the end. With all your wires in place, it should look something like this. And now he's ready to be baked. After your clay is baked and cooled, go ahead and wrap your wire so that it creates a circle at the top. Since this is my first time doing it, I'm going to link out to a tutorial that will show you how to do this. Now grab a tiny circle clasp and we're going to open it and connect all of the limbs. It should be dangly like this. I found these tiny present ornaments at Target and I'm going to make the Enderman hold one of these. So add some glue from a hot glue gun to the edge of his arms and glue it together. For the final touch, I'm going to add these purple rhinestones in the center of his eyes to make it look like they're glowing. These have adhesive on the back, so all I need to do is press them down. Once you're done with that, you now have an Enderman Christmas ornament. I am super happy with this. You can also make it optional to have the little present in his hands, but his arms do move, his legs do move and dangle. I am super happy with the outcome of this. I don't really work with clay, and also his head moves, and that was kind of accidental, but I'm really happy with this. Uh, if you guys try something else similar to this, be sure to tweet me a picture at IASCupquake. would love to see what you guys create. Also, be sure to leave a suggestion in the comment section for next week's episode, what you guys want me to create for next week's episode, Christmas related. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupquake, and I'll see you all later.